Oh, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Crazy Craft server. This is Chills504. Look deep into my eyes and see what I see. Look, finally, after I'm gonna say hours of exploring, one, two, yay! Honest to God, guys, two hours for 27 draconium dust. Are you kidding me? And the only way I got that was uh, right here. There was some, um, uh, what do you call it, nether quartz, and it exploded, and it revealed up here a fire. So I went to punch the fire, and there was a piece of draconium right there. So that's a thing, which is pretty cool. So I might have better luck finding it here rather than being out in the dangerous area and just keep kind of mining things until stuff explodes. Maybe something good will come from it. Who knows? Yeah, so it's been um, quite the trip here. I don't really know exactly what I have when it comes to the ores because uh, I've kind of just been grabbing everything. So I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And, you know, once I get a little bit more of a clear direction to where I'm going to be going, I'll uh, I'll probably focus my my efforts a little bit more. What we got? Uh, was that pig iron? No, just regular iron. Pig iron is steel, which is uh, something I need quite a bit of because I'm getting into the railcraft, which is what we're going to be working on today once I get back from the nether. So let me just continue playing around here for a little while longer, see if I can't find a little bit more of the Dachronic dust, and then once I get back, I'll kind of get together with you guys and uh, show you what my plan is for down at the mine. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so here we are down in the mine, and we're finally going to get into the railcraft stuff that I've been wanting to do. I think actually what I should do first, I'm going to grab uh, some cobblestone. I want to fill in a little bit of holes that I have here. And that way we got uh, something smooth to work with, because the, what i got to do in this one right now is... Um, some coal coke and you need that to make creosote and you use the creosote to be able to make the rails and a bunch of other stuff and then I also have to get into um, making some steel so I'm gonna have to find some ways to be able to get that going as well because um, I need lots of steel so I can make the rails and a couple of the machines. I have enough I believe to get started with what I want and um, what I'm trying to find is a different way. There's a, um, some, what's it from? Uh, Mechanism has a machine called a digital miner. Now, it's a really cool thing. It's kind of like a quarry and you can just kind of set it and forget it and let it do its thing. And while that's all fine and dandy, I'm looking for something a little bit different. So my plan is to use the Railcraft and they have a machine in Railcraft that can help you mine. So I'm going to use that. Ah, crap, I need one more block just to raise this up. So what you got to do is you got to uh, set up these guys. A three by three on the bottom. Give me back my sand and my dirt. Thank you. And then up on the top, basically go around the middle. There, there. there and then lastly we place one right there now we got ourselves a coke oven brick or a coke oven so what we can do with these here is you throw in a bunch of coal into this section here it will turn it into something else and then in here is where the creosote builds up so if we go in here I've got a bunch of coal I went mining and got a ton of it so let's grab a bunch there and the cool thing with this here is I'm going to set it up automatically, but from what I understand is, and you can see how slow this is, um, that this here, you can do inputs and outputs from any direction. So it doesn't matter. You can say put coal here and put the output here and put the creosote here. It doesn't matter where you put it. It figures it out. So it's like somewhat of a smart system, I guess you can say. So what I want to do is I want to be able to build a bunch of these side by side. And at least this way I'll have 
a so, somewhat of a system because it does take quite a while for this to actually do what it's got to do and I want to be able to speed it up as much as I can because there are as far as I know no speed upgrades for this there's nothing that you can do to make it go quicker you just have to kind of struggle through it and uh, hope for the best so what I'm gonna do guys is I'll continue building these machines and as I oh crap what did I forget I think I forgot the one in the middle didn't I yep Bonk. all right so let me continue building these off camera guys I'll have uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna have one more maybe yeah so I'll have three in total to start and uh, depending on the production rates that I get from it I'll try to set up some sort of an automated system for it as well so you know I'll have a uh, coal coal in a chest that sits in front of one of them and then at the back will be an output to keep uh, all the coal, coal, coal coke and let's go right there all right so i will see you guys in a few seconds once i get this all set up including the uh, somewhat automation of it all right guys we're just about done here i've got uh just the last little bit to do i guess i don't really need to have that one uh, i'll get that later and this one to there that one oh crap there's a creeper what's up buddy and uh, take that all right so we put these into here i think i'll just run it all the way along just for argument's sake and you go there and that should work right there I have to get up there and get that little transfer node thing. I can't get it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Just take this crap down. So I've got the system. I'll explain it in a second. And you'll get uh, what I'm doing here. There we go, finally. And the last thing I gotta do is oops, put a chest in the middle. And that will hold all the coal that I'm gonna be putting in there. Which probably. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move it down and out to here. Go away, you go there. don't know if we'll need that or not nope all right so whatever I put in here should disappear it should hopefully fill these up now it's gonna go in succession so wherever it's gonna get to is where it's gonna get to so the ones in the middle will fill up first uh, but that's okay because it's not like this is a super fast process so we have to keep up with anything and as you can see the creosote is getting pumped out so this is the greatest thing like it's super easy to set this up uh, and you do need to have it automated because honestly who's gonna sit here and uh, have to deal with this crap so what I'm gonna do I've got a geez I thought I saw something there give me all oops throw it on the ground so we'll go over to here, throw all that in there, and that'll keep us going for a bit. I don't want to throw all my coal in there, but get enough to get us uh, a bunch of creosote and such like that now. That should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Okay, so what I've essentially done is on the bottom of these, let me see if I can get here. Yeah, okay, see I've got the transfer nodes for liquid on the bottom, and they are running into the drum. So I got a creosote drum. And you could put that um, in here. You probably saw they got the bucket. So if you wanted to put a bucket in there, you could collect, once you get a thousand, you could collect a bucket of creosote, which is fine. You could do that as well. But with that there, at least you can just kind of somewhat automate it. At the top here, you saw me doing the bits all the way across. That is basically this, this transfer items. It's taking the items out of this, putting it into here, which is we're filling that up with coal. 
And then at the back, the last thing we did is we have transfer nodes on the back. So this is actually sucking out the cold coke once it actually is completed. So you might see it flash in there for a sec. And it's taking too long. Okay, so in here you'll end up with the cold coke. And that's what you can use to power a lot of your stuff. So you can do that there. Can I get that? There. There we go. Perfect. So that's that set up. Now what we have to do is we got to go in here and uh, let's see. I think it's under track. Wow. Track. Minecraft. We need the wooden rail bed, which is a wooden tie, which is the creosote bucket with wood slabs or a creosote can. So if you get that and you get that and you get one of those, that is going to be expensive as ever. But we have lots of wood at the top. So again, guys, let me go off camera. I'll go up to the top, grab all the stuff that I need in order to make this. Unless I happen to have some wood down here. It doesn't look like it. No. All right. Let me head upstairs and I'll grab the wood and I'll be right back. All right. So I've got myself some buckets here. The thing I wasn't too sure on. I got five, five of those. I don't know whether or not the buckets are going to disappear when we try to make these things. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab a bunch of slabs. Uh, do I have enough? No. All right. Let's just do it this way. Grab all those and put all those and put that there. Wooden tie. Okay. So I still I get to keep the bucket. That's one good thing, but. Thing is, is this is uh, it's gonna take a lot of work. I mean, what you're making is actual real wooden ties, like a bit of a pain in the uh, you know what, to be honest with you. But it is what I'm working on, so this is what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. Oops. How many we got left there? It's got six. I want to just get enough to do the first one, so I'll put these through, and that should give us enough. It's cool that we get to keep the buckets. I wonder if they give you like 300 rails for doing this. Like, holy crap. All right, put that there. And for the track, also need standard rail, which is, what the hell? Wow, how the hell do I do that? Let's see. They gotta have something. Advanced rail. Wooden rail. Reinforced rail. Ooh, the stone ties. Rebar, wow. That is such a fishy, fishy thing. Osmium with the st oh no way. Okay, so if I get osmium in a stick, I have osmium here somewhere. I thought I did. Uh, tin, aluminum, copper. Hmm. All right, let me figure this out, guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so not too much research, but what I ended up finding is uh, if you click on the track, it gives you this, you get 32 tracks, you hit that, it's like you get the osmium ingot, and it's like, yeah, but how do I get these? And it's like, well, you make the track in order to, just a loop, but you hit this here, rolling machine. So what you're going to have to get is rolling machine, and... I got the ingredients to do that, so I have uh, got to look up the recipe. There it is there. It's relatively easy. I mean, four pistons and some iron ingots and a crafting bench. So the last thing I have to make is the crafting bench. So we got that there. Put that there. One of those there, 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 and there. And pistons there, 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 and there. So now we got a rolling machine. I hope this thing doesn't take power. Let's just see what it looks like. 
bullet machine. So if I go like this and I go like that, click to craft. The hell is that? Re oh, okay, you make rebar that way. Rebar, standard rail. Steel, bronze. So bronze, you get less steel, you get twice as much. Whoa, what the hell is that? High speed rail. Ooh, yeah. Blaze powder, steel, and gold. Electric rail, reinforced. So they got tons of stuff. Steel plates. Okay. I don't know what you can use all this crap for. Electric shunting wire. Mm -hmm. A rail craft post metal unpainted name. Nice. More of those. Alright, so if we get out of this, click. Click with what? Zero RF. Damn it! Give me that. Do we still have my power over here? Yeah. Alright, so you go there. Hey, alright! Oh, uh, nice. Okay. So let's do a couple of those. Uh, let's do 32. That would guess a good start anyways. This is actually pretty cool. I'm liking this, man. See, again, I'm not always looking for the most OP way. I went that way. Like, if you guys watch my uh, FTB Infinity series, I went nuts. I went for totally OP stuff. Do it. Uh, and, um... The game got boring really quick because you had everything, you did everything, and it was like, hey, now, now what do I do? And I'm trying to avoid getting to that point so quickly this time because it was like two weeks, and it was like, all right, now what do I do? Because I already have four um, quarries digging in every dimension that the game has. All right, so now we do that there, and we put one of those in the middle, was it, or is it three? Okay, so you got 16. That's not too bad. So we'll do three there. Between a one. Let's do. Uh, no, let's only do the 32 for right now. Because I want to. Uh, I want to look into doing something. The whole point of this episode, the reason why I'm doing this, I'll show you guys. Uh, I gotta figure out what it is. We are looking for this. So I need a block of diamonds, some steel ingots. All right, uh, diamonds, 13. Okay, we got nine. And I thought I had steel. Yeah. I had steel somewhere. Probably moved it upstairs. Yeah, more than likely. Let's see what we got here. I gotta get that box out of the middle of my room there. Uh, copper. Oops. Iron. Damn it. So I might have to go back and refine some of this stuff. Go back in here. Uh huh. Oh, wait. That's right. Yeah. I had all the stuff put aside that I needed in order to make what it is that I need to make. So, let me grab all this crap. I don't even know what I need of it anymore, to be honest with you. Block steel, furnaces. Yeah, let's take the... Uh, what can I get rid of? Ten oak wood planks? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do. I don't know if I need that, but I'll take it anyways. Just in case. What's up, spider? Alright, because I, I planned this at, in advance. It's just, I've been off for about uh, five days on the server here. It's been a real hectic month for me, work wise, like IR, IRL work. And uh, yeah, I don't always have time to play Minecraft, but 
Let's see, that thing was right there. Damn it. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I gotta get rid of some of this crap. Let's put that in there. Put the chest away, put that away, put the wood away. I think, I think the rest of this I might need, not the lava foam. The buckets I won't need. I don't know about the rails or the sticks, it's possible. I think I need the chest carts for something else of a project, but it's all in the same boat. So we know we can make more of those if we need to. What I want to build is this bad boy right here. So we need this. Look at this, a tunnel bore. Oh, this is the thing that I want to use to be able to do all my mining. Um, at least for the time being, and I think it would be pretty cool. Uh, if I can figure out what direction people are living in, I can um, quite, quite possibly, and I'm not sure, but I can quite possibly dig a tunnel all the way to their base. So, I gotta figure out how this thing actually works. Because I haven't actually uh, used this before, so let's um, what's at the end of this here? That goes to another room. All right, I want to pick one that I don't really have a lot in. Oh, this goes right by the portal. Uh, that should be okay. Loot diamonds. Let's see. Yeah, look at us go. We got two. Alright, so that's done. And we gotta get out of here. Clear this out. That's one thing I don't have was torches. Now I think what you need is a 3x3 three three opening, I think it's 6 wide, or not 6 wide, 6 long. Let's put these down so you guys can see what's going on here. Alright, clear up a nice sized area. Now, I believe one more thing that I need is gravel. Cool. Ooh. Where'd you go? Over here. Let's get rid of these last few. This should work. So what I'll do, I believe I need to have a rail down. And then I can place this down. Oh, damn. Look at it, oh nice. Oh, okay, I see, I see what this is. Now, this guy. Ah, sweet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. See, and this is why I put Railcraft in here. Everybody's like, yeah, we got flight. What do we need stupid Railcraft for? But because Railcraft is cool and might be fun to learn. And I was right. It is fun to learn. Look at that. All right, so if I click on that, if I put tracks in here, ballast. Oh, that would be... Uh, for a ballast is like a, a bridge, sort of. So if there's a hole, it'll fill the hole and then put the track on it. Now, what I do need is coal coke. Uh, where is that? Over here. I gotta get this a uh, little more organized as to where the hell I have everything. Over here, there we go. Oops. 
All right, so we got our coal coke. That should get us going for a little bit. Now there is something else here that I wanted to build. Uh, let's see. Anchor. Whoa, look at that. Gold, obsidian, ender pearl. One of those. I have to get rid of some of this junk again. I don't think. Well, I'm gonna make more rail, so I might as well keep that on me. And probably won't need those. Eh, you never know. All right, Ender Pearl, Emerald, Gold. What we got? 16 or eight blocks of gold. I think I have everything now. Nope, missing the obsidian. I don't know world anchor. I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. Now if I put this with this and that. Aw oh yeah. Okay. So we got that. And where the hell is my little train? They were making fun of me. They kind of had choo choo, choo choo. It was like, yeah, 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 bite me. <laughs> I think this is going to be pretty cool because, um, oh, there's one more thing. I keep forgetting. Uh, I need a. I think there's a wrench. Reinforced crowbar. That's it. Rose red. Who the hell has rose red? Oh my god. I don't have rose red down here by chance, do I? No. This is uh, my very first time doing Railcraft, if you couldn't tell. And uh, nope. Nope. Uh, yeah. Nice, I got myself a ranch. Well, I will. Very cool. Okay, that there. One, two, three, and... What was it? One, two, three, four. Yes. All right, so you're gonna need that to link up the carts. Uh, we need the fuel. Okay, so if I was to... I think I can just put fuel in this now. So, it's gonna... See, it's laying down the track underneath it. And now I believe it is digging out the blocks. And then what you can see is all this stuff is the stuff that it's digging up. Which is why you would put that there. You link that to that. Now look. Everything that you have goes into here. Oops. So now if I was to do that. And go that to that. That's going to pull that along. And then. I put you. Right there, that to that, and then lastly, that to that. Now what this is, the anchor cart, is this is gonna keep that loaded. So as this is going, it's gonna dig a straight line for as long as it can until it runs out of the battery power. So I'm, what I'm wondering is while I'm standing here, okay, I can access it here. Very cool. So it actually takes the coal that it mines and uses that as fuel. So I wonder if I could do something like that where it would kind of keep the fuel and use this first. And now you can see this is what we're actually getting here. Osmium, dirt, cobble. 
Uh, I'm wondering if there's a way to set up a filter. See, it's the gravel is collected is using for a ballast, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna need to make more tracks, or I can, you know, every once in a while follow behind it and pick up the track. Come on, get in the hole. And put that back. So you probably want to put like, I don't know, three or four stacks of uh, rails in there. So if I just do, I only have enough for one more until I make some more of the uh, ballasts. Oops. Or the uh, wooden ties. There we go. 16 more. But this is the thing that I wanted to do. This, I think this is really cool, man. Like this is giving you just different options of things that you can do. And already this is what I've got in the amount of time that it's taken for me to have to uh, build the whole thing. And I believe once this one gets full, it'll go to this here. Now see what you can do is after you've um, let this thing run its course, you can come back through and go, okay, I'm gonna mine up everything on the floor and the rails as I get to it replace all the rails and this because of that anchor cart will keep the chunk loaded that it's in so wherever this is attached to it'll keep that machine in line and it should keep running until uh, this here I need to uh, see ender pearls and it will and it, excuse me it will keep it going for I think 12 hours per pearl give me that All right, give me a full 16. I just wanted one, but. All right, let's. Uh... Nice. All right, so with this here, 12 hours, 24 hours. So it'll do 12 hours at a time. So I guess you could throw in a full stack and it will just keep going. And this here will anchor that so for however long this will run to run that out this should last and it will keep moving no matter where i go in the world so that is very cool as well so this is the that was the whole plan for the episode guys is to make a great big boar i freaking love that again it's just something different it's not your traditional way of doing things especially in modded minecraft it's not like hey let's build a minecart track in minecraft or in modded minecraft Nope, but Chels 504 does things differently, as you guys know. I'm not always about the OP-ness. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was fun. It was a, a good learning experience. Took a little bit of a learning curve to get things going, but then once we started to figure this out, we got ourselves an awesome 3 by 3 tunnel. I wish they had this in vanilla. This would make digging tunnels so much more fun. Anyways, guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.